Just have a full house today. You guys have come prepared, and let's get this party started. No, 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 no. Oh, you did do lights. Yeah, you did. The, okay, I have to go do a task. So. Oh, door, look at it. So, dang it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm clean. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Probably voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome in party peeps. Welcome to March's devlog update stream. So for everyone who's new here, I'm Canadian Thor, also known as Chris at Gaggle. Today I'm joined by Dom. Dom, if you want to introduce yourself, let your peeps know who you are. Hi, I'm Dom, also known as Zista. Uh, I am uh, Quality Assurance and uh, a couple other hats at Gaggle. Lots of many hats. Uh, so for everyone who's brand new to the devlogs, what we do here is we talk about what's going on with Gaggle, what we've been up to, what are we working on now, keep you guys in the loop of what you guys can expect in the near future. So the way this works is usually we go over some topics, then we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a giveaway. If you want to participate in the giveaway, exclamation point enter to earn yourself a ticket. And if you have a question for the Q and A portion, be sure to do exclamation point Q followed by your question. And Dom and I will do our best to get through as many as we possibly can. Uh, today mm -hmm. we have a special Twitch drop. Uh, so if you would want to tune into the stream and you watch for a long enough time, make sure that your Gaggle account is connected to your Twitch. And that way you're eligible for Twitch drops. And after a period of time, you'll be able to claim a special reward. So thank you guys, everyone, for being here. Should we just dive on into it? Uh, yeah. Should we stall Let's a little bit? All right. Stall? What do you want to stall for? It's like Twitch drops or something? Yeah, it's like a Twitch drop or mm. something. So welcome to the Gaggle update. First topic of business. Tom, this is all you. The gaggle update? Oh, the claw machine. Yeah. The claw machines. So, um, we have, uh, we've, we've made a couple changes to the claw machines. We've been improving them, doing kinds of uh, things all along the way. One of the changes that we've had to make is we now have a weekly token and, uh, cap on on these uh so players um and, and, and in addition to that players can also not earn tokens for machines they have not like you if you have not unlocked the machine yet you won't earn tokens for those colors um the cap we we had to do uh, uh the weekly cap we had to do is because we had to um too many players were i guess not playing the game as intended and they were disrupting gameplay um and uh we want to make sure players have the best experience playing the game so we we put the cap in task farming is not our goal currently um we're we're looking into introducing a way in the future for people to be able to earn these rewards outside of normal gameplay um but this really shouldn't affect the average player most most of the average players will still earn all the tokens they, they are as intended. Um, and it really won't affect many, many players. So this is something we had to do to to combat a lot of just unusual gameplay. Yes. So as Dom said, is the goal is not to farm tokens yet. Uh, we do have plans in the future to introduce some gameplay that will not uh, be disrupted to other players. Yep. There we go. Uh, so up, some upcoming plans for Goose Goose Duck and Gaggle. Uh, so a lot of these we covered in last month's devlog, but just to go over them again. So we plan on upgrading the voice and text chat uh, functionality. This means more, our faster response time, more accuracy. Uh, voice should hopefully be improved. 
Uh, friends list is we'll be able to uh, update your friend status a little bit quicker because you as many as you probably notice is sometimes the response to be a little bit slow so we're, we're upgrading the whole system that way it'll be quicker more responsive website we can never go wrong with a little bit more flashier uh website yeah and then the plan for 2023 was to release three potentially four new maps so right now gaggle the whole gaggle team is on content driven mode so we're now we're focused on just producing as much content as we can. So we have three maps on the way for this year, potentially a fourth that end with new maps, come new roles, come new potentially game modes, comes with new stuff for the lounge, a bunch of new things. Uh, so we'll have to stay tuned for March's developer update stream to find out about the next upcoming map. It's, it is March. All right. What do you mean, wait till... That's right, Bloodhaven coming soon. We re developed a whole new trailer for that, new animated trailer developed by the amazing art team that we have uh, with us at Gaggle Studios. The team. What did... you guys think? You like the trailer? You like it? Were you guys expecting it? But I think Chat loved it. Look at them. Look at them. They liked it. So I like the trailer so much that. I would actually like to bring someone in to talk about it just a little bit. Yeah, that sounds great. So introducing for the first time on a developer update stream, we have none other than Tex. Tex, if you want to introduce yourself, hopefully you can still hear me. Hopefully we can hear you. Yeah, no, hey guys. Uh, Hello. I'm Tex. I'm one of the animators at Gaggle. And that was really cool to see everyone's reaction to that. Yeah, that we just made. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, it's so good. No, oh, well, sorry. So, yeah. Sorry, if you install for 20 seconds, then you just said something up yeah. real quick. So, uh, how long did this uh, take from start to finish, Tex? So, yeah, this was, uh, this was our third trailer that we've done. Um, and it seems each trailer we try to, it gets a bit more involved each time. Um, and I think everyone was super happy with the way the whole art team was happy with the way this came out. Um, and we we spent about two weeks or so on this, uh, maybe two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we were all very excited to work on this. Okay, I think it came through. Yep. So right here, uh, we have the different stages of uh, the animation. So you guys get a little bit behind the scenes of, of what it was. Um, so do you want to talk a little bit about that, Tex? Yeah, for sure. So this is just a little uh, kind of a breakdown of one of the scenes in the trailer. Uh, we thought it'd be fun to kind of show you some of the behind the scenes of it. Um, so the first step is storyboarding the whole trailer. Um, and our lead uh, concept artist, Taylor, uh, he came up with a really cool short story to showcase the new map um, and kind of uh, yeah, showcase some of the elements you will, will see in the map. Um, so that's step one. And then once that's all done, the next step is taking those storyboards and turning it into an animatic, which um, basically is turning it into a video. So we take those still images and we uh, time it out, add sound effects, and give a bit of a rough idea of what the characters are doing. 
Uh, once that's done, um, that's pretty much the, you know, the, the base of the trailer. And then uh, Taylor, who also did the backgrounds, he did an amazing job. They look amazing. He, um, we do want, we do the backgrounds, so we know where the animation uh, sits properly on it. So, for example, like when he's touching the crates, we know exactly where he is. Um, and then the next step is rough animation, which is the one in red coming up here. Mm -hmm. And then we take it to clean, uh, which is just, you know, making it all look nice and making it look like the character, um, coloring it, and then finally uh, putting it all together. So we take the final images uh, and put it over the background and composite everything. Nice. And yeah, just a little glimpse of what the behind the scenes process. That's what to do. So, new trailer, Bloodhaven, new map. It's going to be part of the Victorian theme. So, no new theme. However, it does get some special. Whoops. Does get an amazing splash piece of splash art made by Taylor uh, to reveal a little bit what Bloodhaven's about. So, with yes. Bloodhaven, we're, intro we're introducing new mechanics, we're introducing new roles. The one big game mechanic that we want to talk about today is the concept of a day-night cycle. So this map will have a day, a day appearance and a night appearance. Things will change as day becomes night, night becomes day. And Don, things, been... things that uh, look one way during the day might look a completely different way at night. So you get to see things for what you think they are and what they truly are. And I personally am very excited for this uh, all the way through concept. It's it's something that has been driving me insane because I want to talk about it with everyone and I have not been able to. And we finally get that opportunity. So I, we have some amazing pieces of uh, artwork here. We can uh, we can show off. Um, yeah, so we have the, the various characters in that splash art. We have like the guard the apothecary and that we're just going to show off a little bit about like how they look like during the day how they look like during night so kind, yeah. of, kind of like the uh villagers in goose chapel you you will find these guys roaming around or find yourself find them around the map mm -hmm. you guys loved goose chapel right you loved all the npcs in goose chapel right you know what you know what comes with npcs right Dialogue test. Twenty new dialogue tests lined up because we all know everybody loves. You love dialogue tasks. I know you do. You guys love to speed run them. You guys love to read the conversation pieces that the the home stead likes to share. Get all the deep lore. No. Uh, Get chat saying they don't like dialogue tasks. Blocking dialogue no. tasks. All right. All right. Fine. No. No. No new dialogue no tasks. It's dialogue fine. No dialogue tasks whatsoever. None. However, you will still be Zero able to engage. Dialogue. You will be able to engage with these characters, but you will not have to talk to them if, if you don't want to. I personally will still have a nice conversation with them. Let them know that no matter what stress they're going through, they're, I'm there. Yeah. The 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 NPCs will be playing very key roles in the map. You will be interacting with them. There will be tasks uh, revolved around them, but there will not be dialogue tasks, so you guys don't have to worry. So one, I want, one I would particularly want to take a look at is it's going to be like it's going to be two away after Willem it is going to be the, the vagrant because he has a very stylish outfit. He, he does. He looks like he's like put together. So, mm -hmm. as you guys know, if you guys have connected your Gaggle account to your Twitch account, you are eligible to earn yourself a Twitch drop. And some of you may be wondering what that Twitch drop is today. Uh, it's just by watching the stream. You can earn yourself a nice, fancy cloak, robe, piece of rope. An amazing outfit. Yep. So be um, sure so if you're going to connect your, your Gaggle account, be sure to uh, link those. Be sure to claim them uh, through Twitch drops, and then be sure to go to the Gaggle.fun website and receive them and add them to your account. Yep. Um, so with with the uh, the NPCs uh, text, correct me if I'm wrong. There are 
animations with some of these as well, right? Yeah, it's uh, very exciting. We're putting some animations on these uh, NPCs for the first time, aside from Blinks. Um, so you can see in their nighttime design, um, lots of tentacles uh, for Willem and the apothecary, and the guard just, you know, he, he turned into a whole other creature. So there's going to be some moving parts, and uh, they're going to be cool to check out at night. I think you guys will like it. I've seen I've seen some of the early concept stuff from it, and it's it, the animation looked great. So, yeah. uh, I'm very excited for this map. I think there's a lot of new stuff we're bringing. I think there's going to be like awesome new roles, awesome pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah. This has been the most fun map to work on, hands down. Nice, very cool. I know everyone on the art team was super pumped that this was the direction of the new map. So. Everyone put their, you know, lots of hard work and creativity into this. Excellent. Um, so I believe we have a couple uh, roles to show off. I mean, not not going One sec, too so. deep into it, right? <laughs> not going too deep into it. Sorry, one sec. These these buttons were working before. Is that pets? Yeah, yeah, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but, but yes, there are. You did see some new pets. No? Technical difficulty? I'm on a bit of a delay, too, so I can't even see yep. where you are on the, the screen. So, yes. I had an extra um, slide. Mm. Um, yeah, so with with the new map, obviously, will come new roles. Uh, Chris is going to have uh, this up on the screen in a moment. Uh, so we will be releasing them in two separate waves. Um, so the first wave is going to include the High Priest, the Initiate, the Crow, and the Seamstress. So... If you guys want to take some guesses at what their abilities may be, we'd love to hear them. Post them on our uh, our socials. Let us know in the Discord. Take some guesses. And uh, yes, the crow, a brand new neutral role uh, that is uh, as of right now and probably will remain exclusive to this map. Uh, but it's very exciting. We'll talk more about the crow in the future, but. I think that's the role most people are going to be uh, excited for. Nope, for sure. I'm not sure. Okay, sorry. I don't. I'm not sure what happened to the slide. The slide disappeared? Slide disappeared. It's, I, right. No, not today. I'm sure we'll find it later. Yeah. So it's just a couple of role icons. We'll, we'll, we'll post them on Twitter for you guys since uh, we weren't able to pull them up here. All right. Uh, so then we're going back to. So yeah, so Bloodhaven, exciting stuff. We're going back to some other plans that we have going on. So while Bloodhaven's in the works, Bloodhaven, I know the number one question is going to be when will it be released? As soon as it's ready. So we don't believe in due dates because either a, we rush it and then things come out not the way we intended them or we want them, or b, we run late and then we become liars and we don't really take kindly the liars. So as soon as <laughs> Bloodhaven is in a state that we are able to release it to you guys. We will definitely do that as soon as we possibly can. But we are getting really close to uh, getting there. Uh, so while Bloodhaven is in the works, we also like to work on some other things. So we are working on UI updates. So we'll be modifying the menus so they're able to contain all of the updates we've been doing. Uh, because as you can probably tell, some things, there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot of cosmetics. There are a lot of maps. So we want to make it a little bit easier for you guys to navigate around. So we are working on that. Another very common uh, request that we re always receive is, can we please separate the eyes from the hats slash hair? <laughs> we have always planned to do this. Uh, it was just a matter of time and uh, it is a little bit bigger job than we anticipated, but it is in the works. Uh, so soon you'll be able to wear some sunglasses with your nice ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 
so another thing we've been doing is we want to get a couple of community events going on. So what we did yesterday was we went into the Goosey's Duck Discord, which if you haven't already joined, uh, discord.gg slash ggd. We released a poll yesterday, and what we wanted to do was we wanted you, your help to name one of the new pets because we are going to be releasing some new pets really soon. So we did have a poll running to decide the name of the octopus pet. So there was Baldi, Octavia, Sushi, Inkwell, and Sefi. Yep. So you guys voted. The octopus name shall be Octavia. By a landslide. By a landslide. People love the name Octavia, so that is going to be the name of this pet. So in the spirit of naming these pets and doing some community activities. What we, we also wanted to do today was we wanted to give you the, the option for tuning into in for today's dev, devlog stream. What we want to do is we want to have you guys name the platypus. So let me go ahead. I'll create a poll right now. Uh, name the platypus. Yep. Uh, so, we have, so we have duck bill. No, there's one name being suggested in chat and that we can't. Copyright reasons, guys. No. <laughs> All right. So, Duckbill, Bungie, Jetta, Flatfoot, and Jetta. Spur with three R's. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this running for about five minutes. Yep. Current poll is up, guys. Vote away. Vote for your favorite. All right, so personal favorites, guys. Tex, who, 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 what's your uh, what's your wager on? Uh, I'm gonna vote right now. I think I like bungee. What? Bungee. Bungee means uh, I think it's like uh, what was it? Australian for uh, uh, I gotta look. I just had it. I believe uh, you said friend. I think it was friend. I think it's like small friend or something like that. Um, Checks out. Uh, it just means movie. friends. Yeah, it just means friend. Uh, so Jetta means small wild goose. And uh, duck bill for yeah. duck and it, it's not it's not good it's not duck it's not goose but like, it has a bill <laughs> that, that like you just you can just tell this platypus wants to be a goose or a duck so bad it wants to make friends with them. Yep. <laughs> Looks like bunnies. <laughs> Bungie's winning by a landslide so far. Yeah. So maybe we don't need to do the full five minutes. Maybe we can just uh call her a little bit. What was wrong with calling it Barry? Didn't didn't give me Barry vibes. Didn't didn't, didn't doesn't scream Barry to me. All right, I think well, we can actually, I think, I believe we can, I can leave this running. Yeah. So go ahead, so, vote for the name that you wish this pet to be. Uh, at the end of the stream, we'll be sure to change these names over. Because we will, in fact, be releasing these new pets after the devlog. Um, they will be available in collections. I mean... I feel like I'm missing something. We could probably... We could probably use those as the giveaway, right? That, that's not a bad idea. We could, in fact, give away one of each of these pets. So, estimation point enter to go ahead and put a ticket in. Uh, we'll give you until the end of the poll to enter. And then, do, do we want to some some Q and A while we while we wait? Uh, yeah, we could do that. We can jump into some Q and A. All right. So if you guys have any questions for us, actually, Q followed by a question. I know we're gonna be this. So we have covered all the contents uh, for the devlog. So we have the new trailer. We have a little bit of description of the upcoming roles as, or the names of the upcoming roles, as well as, uh, as the characters you'll be finding on Bloodhaven. We have some updates on the way, some upgrades uh, on the back end side, as well as the front end and new pets. So as you put enter, enter the giveaway. So 
Scotty asked, any updates on the tradable cosmetics announced last year? No. <laughs> 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 there have not. Uh, if you want to tune in, be sure to tune in to uh, discord.gg slash gdd. Join the Discord. That's where you're getting the latest news of uh, some announcements that we don't make on the devlogs, but we probably announce it on the devlog. Yep. Um... There we go. Uh, will GGD ever do any advertising? What can we, what can we do to help advertise the game? Tell your friends. Let everybody you, that you know that you enjoy playing Goose Who's Stuck. Uh, it is a game that's actually being developed. Uh, we talk directly to you guys. We listen to your feedback. We we listen to everybody. Uh, so essentially, like at this stage, we've been doing just fine without advertising. Uh, you guys have been the advertisements. You got we, our belief is we made a good game that you guys want to share with your friends. Uh, so when the need for advertising arises, not saying we'll never do it, but for now, I think we're doing just fine. Yep. Um, I'm trying, I'm sorting through getting rid of the blank ones. We have a bunch of blank ones at the moment. Okay. Um, so, uh, Trickster Joy asks, uh, what is the weekly cap, weekly token cap? Uh, that is not something that we are going to disclose for for different purposes uh we don't want people to farm them so we don't want people to like actively try to hit a certain number or whatever but as an average player playing the game under normal conditions you will be fine you will not they will not be missed uh you're not even going to notice uh this really only affects the people that are going out of their way to uh to earn ridiculous amounts of tokens and and breaking the experience for other players all right and we have a winner bungie is the name of the platypus okay i have updated bungie nice. in the back end all right what is overlap oh i'm sorry one sec bungie's overlapping all right so that was just a hint of q a do you want to go ahead and do a yep. giveaway yeah uh let's do the giveaway make sure you guys dms are open uh, I need to be able to contact the winners. If your DMs are closed, you will not receive your prize. All right, I am closing the giveaway in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so the first winner. So we're going to give away Rex. Make sure your DMs are open. Make sure that Dom uh, or AK Zitsa can reach out to you, give you guys a code that you can redeem in game, and that'll be good for Rex. Grand Powerful Oz. The Grand and Powerful Oz. Uh, don't really uh, give this to you. Uh, did, your, did they type in or you're... I'm not sure. Uh, okay. We'll have, to, we'll have to hunt. I'll be in touch. Yeah. All right. The Grand Powerful Oz. Make sure your DMs are open. Uh, Dom will reach out to you and let you know. All right, so next, yep. next we're going to go away to the newly named Bungie, the Platypus. And that's going to go to Jimmy Jins. Jimmy Jins, you just won yourself a redemption code for Bungie. Nice. Congrats. Whoops. All right, and this is for uh, Octavia, Chain Wolf, TTV. Chain Wolf TTV, you just won yourself Octavia. So make sure your DMs are open. That way Dom can get a hold of you. I will get in touch with you guys as soon as we wrap up the devlog. Yep. And last but not least, uh, Uni the Unicorn. Ice Keep. Uni the Unicorn. Ice Beam Mew. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah, congratulations to the winners. Uh, those new pets will be live probably shortly after the dev, dev vlog stream. Perfect, thank you. So congratulations to the winners. So we'll go back to Q&A. So, I mean, I, I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Tex, what was your favorite thing you worked on? the map without too much spoilers not giving too much away yeah um i think my favorite part was the 
concepts we explored with the day and night cycle mm. because we have a lot of really cool areas in the map and then they get even cooler at night so it was very fun to just have a lot of freedom and really whatever we could think of uh we put in the game so that was that was really fun. awesome And also the trailer. Uh, big shout out to everyone who worked on it. It's a lot of hard work, but it paid off. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, I know the team worked hard on it. You guys are, and you guys are also trying to squeeze it in between, trying to get uh, Bloodhaven all good, good and ready to go. Make sure we weren't hindering that release. Yeah, and you guys did an amazing job of it. Like we we have not done a trailer since uh, I think Mallard Manor area era yeah um and a lot of that was not wanting to like impede map release by holding up the the art team but luckily stars aligned and we were able to make it work where it didn't interrupt any development in terms of the map itself so uh i'm i'm i've been so excited to just talk to anybody about the trailer and i couldn't say a word to anyone so uh, it's so exciting. I love I love being able to talk about it and, and like I can only imagine what it's like for Tex who actually like worked on it himself, you know, like Yeah, I mean it's worth it just seeing the reaction. That's awesome. Yeah, just a big shout out to the whole team. I know everyone's been working hard on this stuff too. Yeah. Just the the trailer things. Yeah. Um You have any questions that stick out to you, Thor? Oh, sorry, I'm I'm trying to go back and find that one slide I lost. Oh yeah, yeah. It has escaped okay. me. Oh, I know. What, oh, I know. Oh. I know what happened to it. There you know go. what happened. I know what it. happened okay. to it. So in the meantime, uh, Dizzy Cheetah wants to know: Is Dom ever going to wear a different colored hat? The answer is uh, no. Oops, I had it for a second. Um... There we go. There we go. We'll shrink it a little bit. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. High Priest. Uh, initiate. Pro. And the Seamstress. High Priest is my favorite. With the little Necronomicon goose book. Oh, there's, there's another one that's on there. Uh... Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, yep. So, when it comes to the rules, we're going to release it in waves. So we're going to do an initial set, and then a little bit later we'll release the rest of the rules that come with Bloodhaven. Yep. Alright. Uh, do you ever think about upping the lobby limit from 16 to 20 or allowing others to just spectate the game. We have a lot of people whose connections can barely support 16 players. Adding any more to that is only going to make things worse for those players. Uh, so I'm going to say for the foreseeable future in regular game modes, no, there may be some room for it in other areas down the road. Maybe, don't quote me, maybe expanding lounge stuff later. Um, you never know. We'll see. Hey! Uh, Sinrixan is a 2D slash 3D artist and love to throw an application but can't figure out how to on the website. Please help. So if you go to Gaggle.fun, uh, there is a careers page that lists off uh, open positions. Uh, if you are interested in just submitting one, uh, if you go to contact support, there's a form to fill out. You can do business uh, inquiries. Uh, be sure to let us know who you are. Give us some sample work. So whether that be like an art station or some sort of portfolio uh, and a way to contact you. And then we may or may not get back to you depending on if there is an open position or not. Yep. Uh, here's one for Tex. Uh, can you make a gaggle movie to expand the gaggle lore? Uh, well, I think 
you know, we have a couple maps lined up for future, uh, you know, in the future. And I think the way this is uh, received, we might keep doing them. So, you know, for the next map, keep an eye out for that trailer that keeps expanding the goose verse. So uh, if anybody knows anybody at uh, like Amazon, Netflix, or any other <laughs> credible animation studio that's looking for some new uh, some new lineup of or a new series, have their people peeps call our peeps, and uh, who knows? Yep. Yeah. I, I I too would love to see a gaggle movie or a expansion on the lore. Yep. Uh, Rognik wants to know. Is Bloodhaven just a new map, or does it have a whole new game mode tied to it? Rognik, you're going to have to tune in to next month's devlog to find out more information about this map. <laughs> Not the answer you <laughs> just... were looking for. <laughs> uh, Sailing Queen asks, is there any update on assessing the scene achievement better? Search bar might be part of the UI update. So yeah, again, the front end UI, uh, we know there's a lot of content. Uh, we definitely have added a lot more since we initially believed when we first launched uh, Goose's Duck. We have grown significantly since. So we'll be doing a little bit of a UI cleanup. So things should be easier to find. Yep. Thor, um... why? Have your plushies increase is it related to upcoming GGD merch. So last month we did announce that we partnered up with Toikido. Uh, we are working on a line of merchandise, line of products. Uh, the plushies behind me, they're not growing. It's just I just keep picking them up and I keep shuffling them. So I do. I did get a pick up, pick up a lot of plushies from the makeshift campaign. But merch on the way. Plushies are in the works. We'll have more news as soon as I am able to give it to you. Uh, D2 Games asks, is there any way to have maps on random so we don't need to switch lobbies? At the moment, no. The way our system works is you have to load the whole map in in advance, which is why we have the different lobby systems. Uh, little known fact, the lobby is actually hosted on the map screen itself. Um, it's just tucked away in one of the corners somewhere that is inaccessible. Uh, so this helps speed the game up and load for everyone so they're all like loaded in on the same page. Otherwise, you'd have very long wait times depending on people's computers and whatever. So the, it's it's optimized the best to give the best experience for players. So there's not currently a way to randomize from game to game, but maybe adding a random map function to have you not select the map in the first place to like randomly choose which map you want to play and then switch from there. Maybe that's an option. That's something we could look into, but uh, not not game by game. All right, Zelbeck asks, will Goose Appreciation Week be the standard for Claw Machine events going forward? Daily cap, but attainable uh, through gameplay. Was a great model. Still can buy pulls from the store, too. I thought it was balanced impeccably. And that's the feedback mm -hmm. we'd like to hear. So as you guys know, the with each uh, event or the limited time events, we have been taking your feedback and we have been applying it to the next one. So if we're still collecting feedback, if you guys really like the way that the last one worked, let us know. In the Discord, discord.gg slash gdd. And yeah, no, it's great that you enjoyed the last one. Yep. I think I think the latest model worked really well. Uh Shrike asks, what team do these new roles belong to? The crow is obviously neutral, but I'm talking about the other four. So you're asking about the high priest, the initiate, the seamstress, and the demon hunter. Um might have to tune in next week. Another cliffhanger? No. So this, the seamstress, I, I, I think that's a goose. Seamstress goose. I'm pretty sure that's a goose. That's the only one I'll give you. Ooh. Is there any story behind this game? <laughs> so I want to keep, keep plugging in the Discord. If you guys haven't already joined the Discord, be sure to do that. Discord.gg slash GGD. There is actually a whole lore channel uh, where... It goes it goes way back, and there has been various questions asked by the community, and when our lore master is able to, they'll go ahead and answer it. New rules of I see a Rilla in the chat. Rilla, I have a trailer to show you, guys. I have 
new maps, new roles. I'm going to write out this whole newsletter type thing. And I'll be sure to share that with you guys. But lots of new content on the way. And so I'm looking forward to watching you guys play it. Yep. Um... More pets? More pets? Yeah. yeah. There's always going to be more pets. New pets? The new pets coming right after this devlog. And, and yeah, I'm sure there'll be more pets in the future. Do you do, you do any of the animation on the pets uh, text? Yeah, not all of them, but uh, probably half of them. Which ones have you... None of the new ones. Though. None of the new ones. Which, which one is your favorite that you've worked on? Um, my favorite... I really like uh, Beholder, I think it's called. The one where it's just the big eye. Blinky McBlinkerton. That's it. <laughs> that is the, it's the one thing we had to end up naming that one. <laughs> really? Yeah. Blinky McBlinkerton. That's, that was the right call. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. They're, um, you know, a smaller project to work on, but it's fun coming up with the little actions that are unique for each pet. The little animations that they do. Yeah, I like the. I, I think my favorite is probably Goose, who is like a little excited and has the little blower thing. <laughs> uh, so sub three asks, will Chinese language more improve in the game? Uh, if you have improvements that you like to suggest, let us know. Uh, you can either email, uh, or you can either go to our Discord and uh, submit some feedback, uh, because we would love to hear how uh, how the games be received in different countries, different languages. Uh, is there any plans to add lovers to draft mode? Uh, no, not currently, and I don't believe this will change. Uh, maybe. I, I doubt it. I don't want to get your hopes up. But uh, we don't we don't really like the idea of forcing a role on someone. And we like so for the lovers to work, they're a pair, right? So one person would have to select lover, which means somebody else after them would be forced to be a lover there's no other option like if you don't have two lovers then they don't work so we don't we don't really believe in in forcing anybody to be a specific role the only exception that we have that's kind of like that that's sort of forced is the dueling dodos if you are a dodo and then another player picks another dodo you guys are forced to be dueling dodos but you're both still dodos you know what you're in for at that point so you're not really losing the identity of your role. You're not really being forced into anything that's too completely different. You just have an extra step, an extra, um, you know, objective to to consider. Yep. The Crimson Paradox. Will you be opening beta again? So beta testers is uh, whatever we find ourselves with the need for more beta testers. So we do have a a, a pretty fair sized team now. Uh, whatever we find ourselves with the need, uh, we're at the point now where we'll call you. Don't call us. We'll call you if we're looking for more developers. Just the number one key way to be considered is to be active in the community. Be in the Discord. Be uh, let's see you on Twitch. If if we know you, there might be. Uh, Good chance but as of now no we're not open up in testing yep um sorry i got one okay do you allow mods for the games so we we work very fast if you guys have ideas for goose's duck let's know in our, in our discord uh we as of now we do not allow third-party uh plugins and or software Um. Here, just yeah, just, uh, just yell me when you got how one. How long are the uh, the new maps and pets expected to meet us? New pets, you'll get in a couple of a couple minutes, hours. I don't know. Shortly after this devlog, that you'll you'll be meeting these new pets. Um, as for the map, when it's ready. Any plans to make? gaming as a dead character more interesting uh so the overall game loop of uh like draft is is fairly quick if you if you're continuously dying early on you shouldn't be a dead character for way too long um so do tasks i don't think 
there's really a need. Like, I'm not sure what you mean by more interesting. Well, uh, this is another one for you, Thor. Oh. Considering any more goose colors? 20 is too many! <laughs> too many colors! <laughs> There's no more! Uh I, I'm gonna say there's a lot of repeat questions I'm going through in here. We're getting uh will we ever get a show in the style of the trailers? It'd be great if we got one text. I know you'd you would love to if if we could. I mean um, that would be amazing. Yeah. So if you guys keep loving the trailers, like when when the trailer shows up on YouTube, you know, make sure to give it thumbs up, comments, share it, tell all your friends. The more we see you guys like the trailers, the more we're gonna be uh excited to do it for sure when will the trailers and stuff be live on other platforms like youtube and that soon 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 probably tomorrow probably tomorrow i'll probably upload them if not after the devlog today yeah um i've answered quite a lot of questions specifically about the lovers <laughs> and they just keep showing up there's one that I, I can't find it now. I don't know where it went. It, I might have gotten deleted, but one was specifically asking Tex for the lovers in draft mode. <laughs> um, so, Tex, are you, are, Tex, are you going to do develop uh, lovers being on draft mode? Because the rest um, of us have already said no. I didn't know what that means. <laughs> Drago yeah, asked, will there be any maps coming out soon? Bloodhaven, coming really soon. Really soon. Really soon. It's a good question. It is, it is. Um oh, there's a good one. Uh uh preset dress up. So like I think people are like a, a lot of people are, are looking for like to create a preset of like, hey, here's outfit number one that has this hat, these eyes, this shirt, this pet. They all kind of go together. Can we save this preset? Load it up. I, I think it would be pretty decent. If we can find a way to work it into the UI, we will we'll look into this for sure. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. Will you guys ever do more collabs with tubers? Burleasy mostly. I love it. Burleasy we did work with uh, a while ago. I think he has a he had a cosmetic. Uh, but yeah, we're always on the work lookout for content creators uh, to collab with. Um, how do you how do you apply? Uh, we call you. If you show, if you express an interest in Goose's Duck and you enjoy, if you generally enjoy playing it, uh, and you play it fairly frequently, we'll, we'll reach out to you. Because I know Rilla's in chat. We've worked with uh, Rilla and uh, his crew for quite a while now, and it's been nothing but a pleasure. So... Yep. Uh, what is your favorite role to play? We'll start with Tex. My favorite role. Honestly, I just like playing. Just the regular goose. Or regular duck. goose. No pressure. Do your tasks. Get Easy in, going. get out, get done. Nine to five work day, do my tasks, and I'm good. Tex is a, one of the people you see in that 16 player draft pick that goes regular goose. Pa and you're power power going, move. Why? I call it the power move yeah. goose. It's the power move. It's assassin proof. <laughs> so, um, my favorite. I, I I know everybody thinks my favorite role is is the dodo, and let let's be real, the dodo just changes the game entirely by its existence. My favorite role is actually the morphling. I love the morphling, but I wouldn't be able to play the morphling to the level that I enjoy playing the morphling without the dodo existing. So it's kind of a fifty fifty on that. I like to play kind of like how I play chess, very aggressively. So I like to be the falcon. I like to be the lone wolf, or lone goose, lone bird, foul creature, and just you get two types of styles. You can be be passive falcon or attack falcon, and I like being the attack falcon. Yep. Uh, here's a really good one. Uh, MC Kratos, MCH Kratos says, uh, how do you claim the exclusive drop? I have Gaggle linked to Twitch already. As soon as you qualify for the reward, you get it here. You claim it on Twitch. You then go to gaggle.fun. You log into your account uh, on our website and there is a claim Twitch drops button. Make sure to uh, press that and uh, claim 
uh, your uh, your robes. Will we have new cosmetic packs for sale? So yes. Uh, so uh, we mentioned this during the last last month's dev vlog is we actually have expanded uh, the team. Uh, so we added a couple new developers. We added a couple new artists, and uh, we are working towards a more steady flow of new cosmetics. Whether that be through packs, it may be through a limited time claw machine event, or it may be through just general collections. But we are planning on adding more skins and more more cosmetics in various in various ways. Uh, here's another one, Thor, that you could probably feel best. Oh. Uh, will you ever be putting a colorblind filter with different types and levels into the settings? So if I put on a colorblind filter, like, does that mean I help, like, it helps me see colors better? So I think it's, yes, it would be, it would be for the, the different types of colorblind. Um, but I, like, we already designed a lot of the tasks with colorblind in mind. So like when you see colors and stuff, we have different shapes associated with them, right? So, yeah. If you guys don't know, Chris is colorblind. That's that. That's what I was trying to. Myself and Sean are are both colorblind. Um, and yeah, if you guys notice any like tasks and like so, like, again, we're very active in Discord. If you have any feedback, so whether or not you find yourself having difficulty, like let's say you know, you're a different type of colorblindness, let us know in the Discord. Give us some feedback, and uh, definitely can definitely try to make the game more accessible. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Will there be new achievements to accomplish? Probably. Probably also one. Yeah. So I guess let me let me ask text. Do you, what do you think? And I, I'm not holding you to this. So do like this is not like the law. Do guys don't don't like be writing this down as we said. This is absolutely. Am Tex, what do you think the odds are that we're gonna do an, another trailer for the next map? Um, I hope it's good. You know, I think the main thing is just having the right amount of time to do something that's really cool. Um. But I hope we do another one. I think each time we do one, I'm just blown away with what uh, the small team of people that are working on the, the, the trailer can, you know, produce. So I think if we keep doing them, they're only going to get better and better. And mm -hmm. I'd be very excited to do another one for sure. And w what would you say was your biggest challenge working on the, uh, the trailer? Uh, biggest challenge was, I think, just how quickly everything happens. So it all happens very quickly. The storyboard is done in a couple of days, and then it goes straight into uh, background and animatic. So it's been a new process for me, just of learning how to set everything up. Um, so that that's pretty challenging but again it pays off and it's a bit of work to set everything up but it comes comes together excellent yeah it it came out really really well um, yeah, and the music is really cool uh sound effects i think honestly my favorite part of the trailer is the uh guard transformation that our, our other animator tumas did i think that uh, it's like something straight out of the thing this yeah. is really cool, grotesque transformation. Yeah. Once again, I can't wait. I can't wait to show off some of that. Um, yeah. yeah. I was also going to say, uh, can you stay live longer? We're, we're trying to stall right now. We're trying to, we're trying, we're, we're, <laughs> we're, 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 we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to make you guys as many people as we can in the drop. Yeah, we are absolutely stalling to give you guys more chance, more time to, uh, to get your drop. Don't worry. Um, yeah. So I guess, uh, before we go, uh, too much longer is, uh, for everyone who tuned in today's live vlog, uh, it's been, it's been a great one. Uh, so thank you guys so much for coming out. And I hope you keep staying. Answer some, ask some, some questions. If and one thing I'm noticing while reading through the questions is a lot of you guys are asking the same question. Like the same people are asking the same question. Try try, try ask once, and we we have it on the list. Don't worry. Yep. 
Um, so, uh, this question here from Hayden J Gaming: How much lore has gone on unsolved? So much lore has gone unsolved. You're gonna need to contact Matt Pat from Game Theory. Get him working on this game. There's, there's so much hidden lore you guys don't even know about. And that's not just a theory. Zabacast, can you show the trailer again? I want to show my fiance that awesome piece of work. I would love to take a minute break. And we yeah. might, and like, I think we might actually be due for an ad as well. So we can multitask, potentially. But if we show ads and then show the trailer, it's going to... We're, we're, we're cutting it close. So, okay, so we'll play the trailer. Hopefully people don't get it. But we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I decided, nice. I decided to move to sit down mode. You guys are looking comfy, so I thought I'd join you. But again, huge shout out to the crew, uh, everybody who worked on the trailer. It turned out really well, and I think a lot of people are happy and excited for it. Yep. Uh, I found this question here. Uh, it says, does anyone know how to solve the problem that the mobile version i14 Pro microphone will be intermittent? I have adjusted the sensitivity and zoom volume to 100. So right now, a lot of newer phones, especially the iPhones, are having a lot of uh, audio issues. Um, this is due to the way the sound is handled in a lot of these new devices, where um, instead of going through the sound channel, it goes through the communication channel. And then our game is on the audio channel. So the two are conflicting with, with each other, and we're having a lot of issues with it on the bright good news is we did announce during the dev stream that we are overhauling our audio system i just talked to a couple of our audio engineers and the new audio system that we are upgrading to will fix these problems they they tested it they've tried it they are working so as soon as we get this done on a, a full level fully tested optimized everything we will get it into your guys hands as fast as possible <laughs> any updates about the fishing map so we do have plans so we were talking about like the tokens and uh that earlier and so we have been thinking about new games or new new ways for people to just have fun doing an activity they enjoy so we, there's been a couple ideas thrown around and i think fishing is definitely somewhere on that list is i think it'd be cool i think it'd be a lot of fun just to sit, sit in a lobby with like five friends just fishing chatting and and bring it to your friends who catches the biggest fish yep so we had not forgotten about um that. uh what's the funniest thing that has happened to you in goose goose duck also love playing this with friends so thank you so thank you all so much chris what is the funniest thing that's happened to you playing this game i'm trying to think of all the all the moments so for people who tune in frequent or you frequently uh i have a sad boy camera where it's it's rain and it turns everything turns black and black and white and i look so defeated so i think any moment where i think i have the advantage and then it's taken away from me are, are like the funniest moments they they hurt at the time but when you look back you're like man that was a lot of fun so whether yeah. whether that be you're on your last kill with the duck and then the pelican eats you out of nowhere or yeah, uh, so it's a good time. Yeah, I'll say for me, one of the funniest situations I put myself into was uh, we were playing draft mode 
and I picked the dodo and I saw there was like one duck and it was the assassin. So I was like, oh, this is going to be really funny. Call a meeting right at the start because everybody knows as soon as the bell comes off cooldown, somebody's got to ring it, right? Somebody's got it. I'm that person. I do that, right? So so I do that. I ring the bell. I tell the whole lobby. I go, look, what you guys are going to do right now, you're all going to vote for me. I'm the dodo. I'm telling you this right now. So you could either vote me and choose to believe that I'm the dodo or we knowingly have an assassin in the game. So the assassin can take the risk and shoot me, right? So either I win because everybody voted me out and I am the dodo or I'm bluffing and the geese win because the assassin fired on me thinking that I was the dodo. Which one is it? Obviously, I told you guys I was the dodo. So the assassin waited until the last possible second and took the risk, took the shot. They did kill me. The game continued, but I was sitting there dead laughing the whole time because I was like, I put so much pressure on this scenario here that it, it was uh, it was good. It was a good scenario. Uh, Tex, do you have a uh, you have a funny moment from the, the game or one that you've witnessed? Uh, yeah, one it didn't. I, I, it wasn't me in the game, but mm -hmm. uh, the first time I saw cartoons, I remember react to one of my Death Stingers. Mm -hmm. um, that was really fun to watch. It was the, the Jungle Temple the trolley. Oh, the tro oh, oh the shuttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the shuttle. When everyone saw that for the first time, and I was seeing uh, some gameplay footage, that was really nice. That's that's gonna be such a great feeling to see something you've done like that. Watch some like through the eyes of somebody else enjoying that. Just like yeah, watching was, chat just, like react to this trailer. That's it's great. Yeah. Uh, so for the next question, I actually need text to stand up to be a favor. Text, uh, I see behind you. There's that bookshelf. Can you go ahead and grab like three of those textbooks? Text with just any books. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just any any three. Uh, I'm the, the, the thicker the better. <laughs> Why? Yeah, which is because we're stalling. So this is the. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you play, can you place this on your chair? Can you uh, up before you sit down? Can you place this on your chair? All right. Am I sitting up? Am I? Yeah. Can you then now? Can you sit on them? I can also just raise my chair. Well, I don't know why I had to grab some books. Can you get, can you get text a raise? Uh, done. Oh. There you go. Oh, oh I'm so funny. Everyone wins. Oh. I'm so funny. <laughs> the setup. <laughs> the setup. I can show the. One of the oh, you got the oh, sticker book. Sticker book. This is. This is a, a gem right here. Yeah. No, more merch coming soon. As soon as we have stuff to announce, don't worry, we'll be announcing it. Yep. Uh, quite Casey asks. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I just completely overwrote that one. Oh, I, I think I overwrote it, you. No, I wrote, no, I, I won. Oh, I see it on my. Do, do, okay, do you remember the question? Do you remember yours question? Yeah, it's on the. I see it on my screen. Huh? Really? More holiday map designs, like you guys did for Goose Chapel. Would would love to. Um. When it comes to events like that, it really depends on how how many projects are we working on. Uh, are we able to uh, squeeze in the time to do stuff like that? So we've done it twice now. We've done it once for Twitch Rivals, uh, I believe, the Korea event, and then we did it for uh, the uh, New Year event at the beginning of the year. So yeah, I, like I would love to see like more events kind of like that if we can squeeze them. In. Yep. Uh, Danero asked, uh, Bloodhaven trailer is going on YouTube yet, right? Yes. Shortly after stream. I have it all prepped. I'm going to make a couple of final little tweaks to it and and post it live. So that way you guys can share with your friends. Yeah, I believe, yes. if I'm not mistaken, the time is up for the drop. Uh, I think the campaign has expired now. Uh, Let's double so. check. It is, in fact, expired. All right. So, so if you guys I were did... able to collect the Twitch drop, congratulations. We have done it. We have been live for an hour and a half. Yep. Uh, I did see one one last question. Uh, 
So I, I have that lined up, but if anybody else has anything to say before we get to that last question. Uh... Just a big shout out to the team. Uh, awesome stuff. And I can't wait for you guys to see the map. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Chris, anything? Uh, no, just huge, huge thanks to the team. Uh, the team has been ver working very hard over, like, I think ever since the new year is, so, like, the team works around the clock. Uh, the team is always, is always working hard. Like, no one's sitting around waiting for something to do. Everyone's always jumping on the next thing. And uh, the team is doing, doing amazing at that. And then the community has been doing uh, amazing as well. You guys have been showing all sorts of support, and it means, like, the world to us uh, because it's because of you guys that we're able to keep thriving and uh taking taking these uh taking on these projects as we can it's like why we're able to do cool things like trailers and stuff like that long yeah. live herbert long live herbert uh final question is uh can you end on playing the trailer one more time yes we sure can thank you guys so much Yes, thank you, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you guys sure, in the next one. Be sure to join discord.gg slash gdd. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and all the socials. And we'll see you guys in the next one.